I'm back. I'm trying to crank these out. I know it's already like May 3rd, but y'all be all right. So, uh, let's see who's the next one. I have to hurry before this, you know, locks out. I didn't know I had a lot of storage and stuff. I don't even know. I thought I bought the, I bought the 128 gigabyte or something. I don't know. All right, so who's the next weekly? Libra. So Libra, you guys are next. So let's see what's looking, what it's looking like for your week. All right, so for Libra, what is gonna be happening with them for the week of May 3rd through the 9th? Um, this is Gem Gemini. This is <laughs> fellow air sign. This is going to be general reading, so it may not be every single situation that I talk about in here for you. Um, only take what makes sense to you. So, what is going to be happening with Libra from May 3rd through the night? So, we have emotional support. So, now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings. So, if you guys are not in a relationship, this is just saying, you know, being honest with how you feel about certain things. Maybe something's happening in your life right now and you have to actually take a step back and think, how are you going to react about it? If you are in a relationship, this could just be, you know, you being there for your partner. Maybe they're going through something. Maybe you're going through something and you want your partner to be present. At the bottom, we have explore. So, take a ride and explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts. So, definitely this is about... Um, emotions this week for you guys is what it's looking like like it's talking about inner thoughts it's talking about emotional support so maybe there's something here that's lacking or maybe someone tries to hide their pain hide their feelings and this week is asking for you to be a little bit more open and patient with yourself what else for me Yeah, so we have focus here. So definitely I feel like you guys need to focus on your emotions this week. And emotions could be anything from sadness, anger, happiness. Um, and we have loyalty. So somebody might feel like they've been done wrong and they don't know how to feel about it. Especially with loyalty. Because when I think about loyalty, I think about, you know, you being there for someone you know, not hurting them, not betraying them. So maybe somebody betrayed you. This could even be a friend. It doesn't have to be actually a significant other. Let's see what else is going on for Libra. Can I come out quick? We have enjoy music. So instruments, sound, and tone. So I feel like this is about meditation. So this week you guys need to be meditating to music or just listening to some soothing music. Something that's going to put your mind at ease. Um, I think that music is going to be the key to trying to um, balance out your emotions and it'll keep you focused on something else. Um, at the bottom, we have family connections. So respect people and kinship. So this could actually have something to do with your family, Libra. So maybe there's some type of family situation that's going on. Um, I don't know. I'm picking up. Yeah, because we have respect here and loyalty. So maybe somebody in your family betrayed you in some way or you feel that they've betrayed you. And you need to focus on something else because you don't want to start thinking negatively about your family member. So let's see what this is about. Maybe somebody was supposed to be there for you or they said they got you and then they changed their mind. <coughs> So what does Libra need to know for May 3rd through the night? All right, so the first card here is time passing and still no commitment. So I feel like maybe someone said they were going to help you and the time is steadily creeping up and you haven't heard from them. They're not making any effort to contact you or talk to you about anything. 
um, you don't feel heard. They never want to talk it out or has a problem every time you want to. So maybe this person is someone that they're, you're always there for them. But when it comes time for you, they always make excuses or they feel like you're overreacting. I feel like something um, is timely here and someone's like not um, getting to it because we have unre unrequited interest. So this has to do with um, someone's, op uh, what's that called? I just went blank. <laughs> someone's thought processes are somewhere else. So they're not really worried about your situation. They have something else that is taking precedence, but they already kind of told you they were going to do it. Um, being too nice and affectionate to others. So yeah, this is somebody who will treat others with respect and do what they need them to do. But when it comes to family, they kind of put you on the back burner or make excuses. At the bottom, we have, <laughs> you have to do most of the work in bed. So <laughs> I don't feel like this is a relationship situation. Sorry to show that. I mean, I put that in there. Um, but basically, <laughs> this is funny. Um... But basically what this is saying is that you're always putting in work. You're always helping this person. You're always there for them. And when it comes time for you, they just shut down or they're nowhere to be found. So you're basically always running after this person. And the same can go for a relationship. Maybe it's just um, you're always there, you know, pleasing this person, doing for them. And you lose focus of what your needs are or they lose focus of your needs. But I'm really picking up that this is really more so about a family situation or someone in your family said they're going to do something and they're not. All right. So Libra, what else does Libra need to know about this for May 3rd through the night? So we have Ace of Pentacles. We have Five of Wands. So this person may come through for you, but I feel like it's going to be after you had to like make a big fuss about it and argue about it. So they may be um, coming through for you to help you out. It could even be helping you out financially. Maybe this person said they were going to um, give you some money for a down payment to something. And it's like as the time keeps going, like it's not happening. So you feel like you have to fight for it or ask and it caused a hostility or a host hostile moment. But you've been in this, this person's been in this situation before too. And you never said no. Like you just gave it to them. You didn't ask all these questions. You didn't like put up a big fuss about it. We have the star here. So there's a tension bring, being brought to this person's behavior. We have the three of pentacles. So yeah, you need some help right now. So you need help from this person just like you would help them if you, if they were in need. But it's like this person's having an issue with helping you out. This came out sideways, but I'm going to take it up front. So this is the Ace of Cups. So this is definitely about emotions. Like I said, this week is going to be about emotional support. You're, this is all you're asking for is someone to actually be there for you. We have Justice. <laughs> so this is kind of like you guys' card. Um, but yeah, things are going to work out in your favor. I just feel like the way to get to it was like too much. Page of Pentacles. I feel like you are going to get the help that you need, but moving forward, you're probably not going to ask this person for help anymore. And you're also going to reevaluate if you help them in the future as well. Yeah, Knight of Cups. So yeah, like I said, this person's going to come through. Um, they're going to be there for you. I just feel like you have to actually do too much to ask for this help. And then we have two of pentacles. So this could be that this other person um, had something else going on in their life. Maybe they didn't express it to you. And that's why they were kind of juggling on when or how they were going to give you the money. But uh, I do see that it's going to happen. I just think that it's going to cause like, it's going to take some arguing in order to get this person to see that. So that's you guys' reading, um, Libra. This one was actually just pretty straightforward. Um, if that made sense to you guys, let me know. And I will catch you in the next video.